Runaway train rumbles right through small towns en route from Toledo to Columbus. The train rolled down the tracks late this afternoon for miles with absolutely nobody in control. It finally came to a dramatic stop near the city of Kenton, Ohio. Even worse, the train was known to be carrying combustible materials. News Center 7's Jim Audie joins us now with a live report. Jim? Donna, imagine this happening in the Miami Valley. You know how dangerous it could be. A freight train headed down the tracks out of control and no way to stop it. It was like something you'd see in a Hollywood action movie, only this was no movie. At first, authorities thought the train's engineer had a heart attack and could not stop it. Then it was learned that no one was on board. Greg Jones of the Miami Valley is a former train conductor. It's very scary, and, and I worked for the railroad for a year. I have to tell you, Jim, that every time I look at something like this, it, it really scares me. How could it happen? Greg says the crew must have stepped off that train for a moment at a rural stop. I would guess the locomotive never was under power. Probably the train brakes just were not applied, and it started rolling free. Rolling fast enough to keep going for miles. And along those miles, through towns and villages, police scrambled to keep everybody out of the way. Finally, a dramatic rescue. Another engine was brought in from behind and hooked onto the train to slow it down. Then, watch the lower left corner of your screen. An engineer was able to jump onto the locomotive and apply the brakes. Eventually, it came to a halt. It was a miracle, but nobody was hurt in the incident. Authorities now trying to figure out exactly how it happened and why the brakes failed to hold that train in the beginning. Jim Audie, New Center 7. A 47-car runaway freight train that, for a time, no one seemed able to stop. It all started in a switching yard in Toledo when the train mysteriously took off on its own. And to CBS's Bob Orr reports, it turned into quite a chase. The phantom freight train barreled through the flat farmlands of northwest Ohio with no one at the controls. As emergency crews gave chase and police sealed off railway crossings, the curious gathered to watch. That train ain't got no driver. What do you think about it? What do I think about it? Yeah. What are they going to do? It's headed for Marion. The train, carrying paper, lumber, and two tanker cars of chemicals, eluded capture for two hours, at times hitting speeds topping 40 miles per hour. News helicopters tracked the Odyssey for 66 miles across two counties to the quiet farm town of Kenton, Ohio. Been a long time since we had anything like that here in Kenton. There, another CSX locomotive that had given chase caught the runaway from behind and began dragging the train to a crawl. Engineer Terry Fornson made the capture. Uh, no one's on a train but us. How'd the train get away? Any idea? Don't, don't have a clue. Uh, it was up ahead of us, and the dispatcher called us and told us. The freight train slowed enough that another CSX train master was able to jump on board and apply the brakes. The fugitive train safely creaked to a halt. There was nobody on that engine. Just, how did uh, it get going? We don't know. We're investigating that right now. The incident is certain to reignite debate about equipment to prevent rail collisions and stop runaway trains. The technology exists, but so far the government has not required it. And most freight railroads haven't spent the millions needed to have it installed. Bob or CBS News, Washington. And it was just